Hey, weekend, le weekend leaders. Welcome. Just me here hanging out with the city, you know, doing the thing. Anyway, it's October 9th and 10th weekend. Here we go. Oh man, thank you guys for putting up with me in all of my weirdness and obscurity. This week, we are going to be starting a new series entitled Durable Faith. <clears throat> Strong Faith or Dependable Faith. There's lots of different ways that we can define what faith is, but the whole idea and premise is on establishing a definition and an idea for why faith is important and what faith should look like in the life of a person who's following God and in relationship with God. So this week um, is going to highlight the importance of establishing long lasting faith, the importance of having a faith that is steady and reliable and can outstand all of the different obstacles and turmoils that life um, and, and all that life has for us and all that life throws at us. Um, and so we'll, uh, we'll look at that in a couple of different ways, but the, one of the primary ways that we're going to highlight that this week is by identifying what faith is and where we look for it, where we look for it. So uh, just a general kind of like overview of kind of what faith is and what faith uh, focuses on is that faith starts with believing. And uh, as we'll see in the video today, it's not just about believing in a physical person or a physical reality, although Jesus was real and he did walk on the earth and we can prove a lot of those things. There's a lot of things that we can look to to define that, but we're not just focusing on that with faith. What we're looking at is the effects of a life lived in community with God. There's a famous quote by C.S. Lewis, um, and he says this that summarizes what I just said. It says, I believe in God like I believe in the sun, not because I see it, which we can see, but because by it, I see everything else. And, uh, and so that's going to give us an idea of kind of the, the, the framework for which we have faith in God. We can, we can see the, the realities of, of him coming and living and, and some of the physical things, but the, the best testimony to faith in God is not the physical reality. It's the, the practical experience of living life with God and how that brings us into a new understanding of the world and seeing the world and seeing everything in, in around us. So just keep that in mind. And also a big caveat for this series, it's important to create a safe space for kids who may communicate that they don't know if they have faith. They don't know what their faith is in or where their faith is at right now. And understanding that that is an okay place to, to at least acknowledge in this season of life. So make space for, for kids in every stage and every uh, situation with their faith. All right, let's jump into the activity today that we're going to do in the small group time. All right, I'm going to be really quick and brief with the activity that we're going to be doing this weekend in the classroom because I went long on that message overview. So let's jump right in. Um, at the start, the activity, you will play a game with the kids and, uh, and the, the, the um, resources for the activity will be in your guys' uh, bins, the invisible ink pins, as well as the paper. Um, I'll just put that in your guys' bins this week instead of in their bags. Um, so you'll pass those out and uh, the activity is meant to be as an illustration to show them that, you know, sometimes what's seen isn't always what the answer is. Um, what's seen kind of gives us clues to what points us to the ultimate answer. And, uh, and so that, that idea sets up the, the, um, Durable Faith cards, and I'll place those in the leader video for this week. Um, the Durable Faith cards are going to be a resource that we use this weekend to help point kids as a next step, a practical next step towards seeing how their life and how their encouragement can be a thing that helps, um, one, build their faith and help it create some, uh, some of the long-lasting faith in their own life, but also helps other people around them have faith and see God at work in some of the areas that we may not even, at least at first, identify God working in. Um, so we have, to, we have to kind of expand our vision as to where God might be and as to what 
God works through. And, uh, and so this activity should be a, a fun one. Hopefully it'll be a connection that you guys can make with the unseen reality of, of who God is with the, the seeable, knowable, touchable expression of who God is. All right, so take a look at that activity sheet to get a little bit more clarity on that. All right, I'll see you guys this weekend and uh, we'll go through the lesson and we'll, we'll pray and we'll focus our attention on loving and caring for these kids. And, uh, and I have a fun challenge for us uh, this weekend at the huddle. So come early, 30 minutes, wear your team kids shirt and uh, come along excited, hearts prepared to love and care for these kids. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.